Welcome to Lyme Regis Fossils. I'm going out along the Jurassic Coast fossil hunting. Here's Mike Harrison with a really nice fossil find he made in the limestone rock. An even bigger one he found called Astrocerus subtusum in the rock with crystals in the body chamber of the creature. I'm going to walk from Lyme Regis out down to the beach and see how the sea is shaping up. It's a really rough stormy day you can see down there in the distance golden cap and those dark looming clouds i'm looking forward to going fossil collecting today and see what the seas worked out of the beach areas for me at low tide there's mary anning i'm going to follow in her footsteps down through towards the east i'm heading towards charmouth as the tide lowers and i'll see what the pot of gold is for me at the end of this rainbow fingers crossed I always walk out along this sea wall just to go and check the tide and see what's happening and see whether I can get along the beach. I need to stay away from the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. And down there in the distance, the 2008 Lime Regis landslide has quite a lot of mud that's eroding away and bits of pyrite in the mud like this piece here can be seen, all washing out with the sea's action. You can see it's a really rough day a lot of the beach is now exposed and as it's been rough weather I hope for some really good little fossil finds in the iron pyrite. Here's an ammonite preserved in beef calcite, fibrous calcium carbonate. I'll leave that for others to find. It's a nice sunny day so I should imagine there will be some more people out along the beach looking for coins and old antiquity from the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. I think people will come out and have a look, but uh, I think there is a bit of rain on the forecast. Here's a broken piece of an ammonite in pyrite in the fool's gold. The, in the distance there, look at that. That's a helmet. Someone's lost a, a um, bit of uh, protective safety wear. I don't think I'll wear that because I won't be going anywhere near the cliffs. They're dangerous and as I said, they're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Stay away from the dangerous cliffs. Here I am at low tide looking for these little pyrite ammonites, the perfect pyrite ammonites preserved in fool's gold. My rucksack's there on a large rock as that big wave sweeps right back up the beach and covers a lot of it up. It's only a neat tide I'm out on today. So uh, we'll see if it does drop back a bit more. It seems to be a bit backed up the sea. This is what I've found so far, some iron pyrite ammonites and marbles. It's always fun seeing what's on the old Victorian bottle dump. I've got my metal frame rucksack there. That's a good brace against my back. A oh, really stormy day out here along the Jurassic coast. And look at that in the mudslide. You can see a piece of Asterosaurus ammonite from the Jurassic age preserved in beautiful calcite, which is glowing in the sun. That should wash up quite nicely. Quite translucent there. Well, there's Tom Carr, a fossil collector. He's usually out with Tiber the dog looking for fossils. He seems to be out in this rough weather on his own. Look at those storms in the background there. I found a backbone, a small ichthyosaur vertebra, and uh, that's quite pleasing, that small find. Yeah, that's right. So there's uh, Tom Carr without Tiber. He's got a nice little intermediate nodule there and an impression on top. To give the game away, there might be something more inside. It's got enough potential, hasn't it? Yeah, we'll get that up under, under the pen. It feels quite soft, actually. Well, it's turned out a bit showery today. Look, another rainbow out ahead. And you can see Charmouth Heritage Centre down there in the valley in the distance. And look all that rubbish washed up along the beach. Those really big seas have turfed up quite a bit of plastic fishermen's boxes and also too from the old Victorian bottle dump this melted glass at over a thousand degrees C that must have melted back along and uh, it's all fun and games as you walk along the beach finding bits of old medicine bottles 
and uh, see what antiquity comes out of the old 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. But look at that pirate ammonite we found. That will be good to pick out with a pin. Sea lily stem, an animal related to the starfish, a very small piece. But isn't the preservation really beautiful? And that's something kids quite enjoy, those little stars, finding those particular fossils. Here's at Mike Harrison's fossils on Instagram and look what he's found here on the beach, water one, but absolutely beautiful backbone there of an ichthyosaur. Wow. Well spotted, Mike. That's a good size, isn't it? Not bad at all. Well, it was great to see at Mike Harrison's fossils on the beach today in all this bad weather. And you can see here, a backbone that I found now on the Jurassic Coast at low tide. A lovely little backbone of the ichthyosaur there. Well, as I've said, I've been out collecting and the sea's very backed up today. It's so stormy, the sea's hardly had a chance to go back out as the wind has been pushing in the big waves. But here's the cutoff point and you can see those steps up to the sea wall. I'm going to go back up the steps very shortly. Just see this large ammonite that fell down onto the beach. It's always nice to see things like that. It's eroding away at a rate of knots already. And here are all the warning signs as I go back up the steps about the do's and don'ts along the Jurassic coast. And as I walk back now, a big storm's brewing up and big raindrops are falling down. I start to wonder at this juncture what Mary Anning must have thought coming out in all this stormy weather relentlessly to find her fossil finds in the winter months when the erosion rates are high and the sea does most of the work for you, washing the fossils out onto the shoreline. Here's Broad Street in Lyme Regis, absolutely aflow with rainwater. And here's the Christmas tree at Lyme Regis and it's getting an absolute pelting. I hope it stands up to all this stormy weather. We often get it in November and that's the time when the fossil collecting can be really good at low tide. Here is the River Lim. I'm walking back into town. It's started to really fill up, the river course has. And I've got a certain video of the River Lim in spate, one of my earlier YouTube videos you can have a look back at when you can see it right to the very top. That really was a very, very wet day and the whole area with direct runoff was absolutely a mess with water everywhere. So I'm walking along the Leet and then I'm going to go back to get my car and uh, at the moment the rain's holding off but uh, I reckon it will start raining again and uh, the collecting hasn't been too bad today. I've got to go home and put a lot of my fossils in fresh water anyway and soak the salt out of the fossils, leach the salt out. Here's the River Lim flowing down this waterfalls here and there's a little bridge over this section. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, which is Lyme Regis Fossils. We are going to make some more fossil hunting videos for you out in the pouring rain, out in all weathers. Thanks very much for watching.